Let's stick with rumors. Uh, viewers, will they want to keep up with the Kardashians if Courtney leaves? And we might find out for months now. Oh, please. <laughs> Please. Tension between Courtney and her sisters have been rising. Last summer on Keeping Up, viewers saw Kim and Courtney reach an almost breaking point over their differing priorities in terms of family and work. And in a recent interview with Paper, Courtney confessed that she'd love to leave the show in the dust. She said, I will always say I want to move away someday and just be away from it all. Sail away. Sail away. Mm -hmm. uh, no one will ever see me again. I keep throwing up different places. Uh, I'm gonna throw. Up. I keep throwing up in different places. Uh, I keep throwing I'm up. Puke. I keep throwing up different places, but uh, then I'll go there and visit. And oh, she's gonna sail she's away. She's gonna sail away, just uh, like sticks. Uh, but then I'll go there to visit, and I'll be like, nope, this isn't it. But I'm glad. I but glad I came. She's just afraid of Chloe coming after. Her. Yeah. Uh, she said, we've just been to Finland, and I was like, check, it's great for me to visit, but I'm not going to move there. Maybe Norway, Switzerland, I've got lots of ideas. She does have a lot of ideas. That's according to Courtney. They're all annoying. On Sunday, uh, producer Ryan Seacrest was put on the spot by an ET reporter who brought up the subject. Do you think that Courtney is <laughs> going to leave the show? Do you think... Courtney's going keeping up with the Kardashians. E.T. is a reporter, mind you, so, yeah. Um. I'll always be right here. Seacrest seemed taken aback. Why? Because I'm from another planet? <laughs> <laughs> Are you z a xenophobe? Uh, but then said, well, if the cameras go away, as long as they can come back, Courtney. On my home planet, I was a botanist. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you know, they can go away for a little bit, but bring them back so we can do another season or two. Honestly, I don't know how they do it. Uh, he said, I couldn't do it, no matter what they were paying them. I, I can make things levitate. Just thought I'd throw that in. <laughs> He said, I could not do it, so I give them a lot of credit for having those cameras in their lives all the time, and I love you, Courtney. Love her. He loves her. He loves her. Well, that show has made millions for him. Oh, my God, yes. Honestly, I have to say, I thought that meteor would have crashed to Earth long ago, and they still keep renewing it. It's very resilient. I wonder I if it's... Uh, like don't get it. Alcoholism or something. You're just addicted, Maybe. and you just do it out of... Routine, maybe I, you know what American audiences always need though that that super rich family to watch. True, and, and there's what no they do. Well, uh, I guess there are a few of those. Di in fact, maybe even Dynasty itself is yeah, on. But uh, I, I think that that kind of covered the bill for a while. Then now we get reality TV, which, right. which takes over for that. So, so that's like the Real Housewives and all that stuff. Uh, guess, uh, maybe I you're right. So, I don't know. You know. It's annoying. Uh, I don't watch any of them. None of it? I'm a botanist. Okay. <laughs> no interest. Yeah. All right. So this is interesting. Haven't heard this name in a little while. All eyes were on Val Kilmer as he took center stage Sunday night at a benefit for his Twain Mania Foundation, created to impact the iconic writer Mark Twain's legacy to children. The 59-year-old posed on the carpet with a pair of binoculars around his neck. How's he looking, by the way? I have not seen the photos, Steve. I'm not really sure if we have any. If you guys to be honest, I find was, any, that'd be great. There was a point there. Huh? Yeah, uh, he looks okay. What's, he, was, he, had, he, had, so, he had throat cancer, some sort of yeah, yeah, variation. Yeah, I've got, I've got a little cancer. information you got it? Right. on that coming up. But he, we're looking at a picture of him right now, he looks... Now, he was heavy for a while. He, he got, was very heavy. He got, he got pretty... Pretty hefty. Looks like he's lost the weight, but man, has he done some work on his face. He's uh, Mickey I mean, Rockified. Yeah, he's he's aged clearly, but you can tell that there's been some work around the eyes and the cheeks. Uh, and that just, uh, I, I couldn't tell you. If, you. if you showed me that picture and said, who is this? I couldn't tell you that's uh, Val Kilmer. It no looks way. like a, a drag queen pretending they're Val Kilmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah I kind of like that. It's... Is, he's not going to be featured in the new Top Gun. Yes, he's going to be in it. Is, is he? Is. So okay. the, uh, his son Jack was in uh, was also in attendance for this event. But the appearance previews a comeback of sorts for the star, who is set to hit the big screen again in Top Gun Maverick. Uh, last summer, Cruz and uh, Kilmer, uh, or, I'm sorry, last summer, Cruz said of Val Kilmer that he was doing really well. Uh, well, it's unclear what prompted Kilmer's hiatus from Hollywood. It became apparent that he was struggling with health issues during the hiatus in 2015. A spokesperson told People Magazine he was rushed to the hospital for a possible tumor. In 2017, 
He admitted that he had throat cancer and had recovered after a two-year fight. Uh, he told the Hollywood Reporter that the procedure on his trachea made his voice raspy and left him short of breath. I really like Val Kilmer. He's yeah. been in some really uh, great stuff. Top Secret and yeah. uh, Real Genius. Oh. And I love him in MacGruber. Yeah. He's freaking hilarious. And Steve, you're forgetting... Uh, um, uh, oh, Tombstone. Tombstone, thank you. One of the you. greatest performances. Yeah, definitely. I bought the man's shirt. I think his best performance. And The Doors. He was phenomenal. Oh, yeah. So yeah. what would you say? So greatest Val Kilmer, Tombstone? That is such a great performance. It's, I, I got to go neck and neck with The Doors. They were so, yeah. so both so good. But yeah, his his lines in in, uh, in Tombstone <sighs> are so just great. wonderful. So great. I love Real Genius, though. I love that movie. Have it's you ever seen Real movie? Tombstone? <laughs> I've never it's seen It's really real. good. Is it? Yeah, it's oh. about Doc Holliday in college. <laughs> Only uses a laser instead of a... Uh, Instead of uh, I'm going to use the laser honeysuckle. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to make a whole big house into a Jiffy Pop. Uh, or what was that? Was that him? That, that was his bite in, oh, uh, my, in Top Gun. Gun yes. His best pilot. Yeah. Hit it again. That's his teeth coming together. Uh, oh, my God. That's right. Nice. It's it, man. Man. I am dangerous. And there's the bite. All right, man. The top, that line from Cruz, I hate it. All right, ice. And then he pauses. Man. man. And brushes off his shoulders. Yeah. You're awfully big there. Horrible movie. <laughs> I'm five feet, Horrible. three inches tall, man. I'm a little tiny man. But as much as I hate Top Gun, I can't wait to see the sequel. Likewise. I because really want to see it. Because guess what? What I said, yeah. and I thought they were going to do, is they are going, they're going to go more realistic. Yeah. You think so? More, that's, what the, okay. that's the word. Okay. And now with the availability of what they can do. It's Steve. Wouldn't it be great if in the locker room scene they all of a sudden break into a dance <laughs> right. number? Yeah. Right. We're yeah. going for ultra realism Realistic. here. <laughs> I want to see Val Kilmer, though. You know, I, I want to see how he looks and how he's able to pull up Iceman because what we just saw there up on the screen yeah. doesn't jibe with the Iceman I know. I don't think he's going to, he can't be all that cocky anymore. You're not just writing checks. <laughs> Your body can't cock. Who's that? You're Ice dangerous. Man, <laughs> I can't understand your words. <laughs> man. Uh, John Hamm's in it, too. He was at the Blues game last night and on Saturday, and he's uh, done a few spots on NBC for the, um, I love for the Stanley you. Cup Finals, and so it'll be cool to see him in it as well. I love him in that man. I'm, I'm sorry, you... I love him in that man. He wasn't in Mad Men. No, no, Mad Men. Oh, Mad Men. Yeah, exactly. You can't, okay, you can't thank put you. your lips together. <laughs> I got that. No, oh, man. I had a little surgery. Yeah. You had a little surgery? <laughs> you look weird. <laughs> Tonight, E.T. gets the exclusive with Val Kilmer. I'm going to rip the Band-Aid off. It's going to go hard on you now. You look weird. Bring it, you little bitch. <laughs> All right, what else I have for you? Three months after Nicolas Cage and Erica Quakey got Quakey. hitched in a Vegas, in a quickie Vegas wedding. A quakey quickie. Quakey was quickie. You remember he Nicolas Cagey. tried to immediately get it annulled. Four days. Yeah. Uh, Vegas, uh, so uh, after this, a judge in Clark County had granted them a divorce. Uh, Cage filed for an annulment four days after the wedding. He was drunk, he, he freely admits. That was his fourth wedding, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, claiming that it was based on fraud because Quakey did not disclose her criminal and romantic history to him. Uh-huh. See, you didn't tell me about your criminal history. You uh, didn't tell me about your criminal history. <laughs> TMZ if I had known, I wouldn't gone all Quakey on you. <laughs> TMZ reports that the annulment didn't happen, and it is un... I'm his friend now. Oh, <laughs> See, little guy's my friend now. <laughs> He's got great fingers. <laughs> Uh, Quakey, okay, so uh, reports that the annulment, uh, TMZ reports the annulment didn't happen, and it's unclear if Quakey will receive the spousal support that she has requested. So, I, I mean, honestly, I don't know what's going on there. I love Nicolas Cage for, you know, Nicolas Cage has become what he's wanted to become the most. It's basically an Elvis-type character. Uh, he goes around, you know, in these, like, we're right here, he's got some <laughs> sort of animal print leisure suit on. Uh -huh. This is ridiculous. Yep. 